Hello, my dear Franken friends, and welcome to Spook You, your one stop shop for all things ghastly and ghoulish. I'm your host, Barnabas Vixen, and my, 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 do we have a tasty assortment of tantalizing tales for you today, handpicked by our very own Weavers of Woe. Guaranteed to send a chill down your spine your money back. It's always an armor fun. But enough teasing, because you're here for the stories, aren't you? Well, without further ado, allow me to pass the reins on over to our vivacious voiceover virtuoso, Trey Falco, for the first of tonight's spooky stories. And I'll be seeing you real soon. That is, if this doesn't spook your eyeballs out first. <laughs> hey guys, Trey here. Uh, don't mind my voice. I am sick right now, so... That would be why we didn't have a video Tuesday, and then of course I took Christmas off to spend time with the family. So I've got a guest narrator on today uh, filling in for me. It's one of my best friends. His name is Quaid. He's looking to start his own narration YouTube channel, so he's going to be narrating the stories for you guys. Uh, hope you don't mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just show him some love on this video, and then who knows, maybe look out for his channel one day here in the future, and I hope to be back next week with our regularly scheduled videos. Happy New Year, by the way. I guess this is the first video of the New Year, so Happy New Year's, everybody. I have been searching on Reddit for an answer to my problem, thinking I am not the only one. I'm quite new to Reddit and do not understand how it works, but I understand that people can read your posts and comments. When I was quite young, I would have dreams, and later in life, the events would happen. You know, small events like doing work in class or walking and seeing something, just basic stuff. Recently, I have been having extreme deja vu. It is longer, and I'm seeing the same person. I've never spoken to this person or do not know their name, but it creeps me out. Usually it starts of me doing something normal and remembering doing it and looking around and seeing that person or them walking by me. It's fucking crazy and I can't understand what's going on. I don't know where to go about this information. As a person who's interested in other humanoid beings and theories, I can't come up with one for this. There's no reasoning, and this person is appearing in my life. It's not like they are constantly in that area, it's always in a different area. I move around a lot and take public transport often, so I'm constantly on the move seeing people's faces. But I always see their still emotionless, cold face. I've joined a few Reddit groups to see if someone has a similar experience, but I cannot find any. Please send me your suggestions on why this is happening. It's taking a toll on me, mentally. By the way, this doesn't happen every day. It happens once every few months, and it is always at different places. At first, I ignored it and paid no attention to it. But now, it's beyond that. Something weird happens in my house every day. Unopened wine bottles are open. The metal door of the boiler container slams on the ground, even if it was perfectly sealed. Chairs falling out of the blue. We learn to live with these events because they started happening five months ago. 
I also have a six-month-old dog that lives in the house's garden. When he was a puppy, sometimes he started crying after staring at something that was never there. Now he grew up and he still sees something, but he doesn't cry anymore. When he sees it, he tries to get me in the house and barks at me. If I try to go outside, he wants me to stay in the house. Then he goes where he saw something and stays there for about five to ten minutes. Then he comes back and he lets me know that it's all safe, that I can go outside now. I've never seen what he does in that ten minutes because as soon as he hears me going outside the house, he comes to get me back in. The other day, my father went outside the house and saw a bucket full of water. He used that bucket one hour earlier and it didn't rain, so there was no explanation for the water. He stared at the bucket for two seconds and then it literally exploded in front of him. He also told me that he has always had a weird feeling when he goes to the bathroom at night. He feels that someone is watching him. Only my father has this strange feeling and the weird stuff happens only in front of him. We moved to his house nine months ago. What a delectable morsel of a story. Something short and sinister to get that blood flowing. Hopefully that'll hold you over while we talk about one of our sponsors. Big Frank's Body Shop. Frank is a frequent listener of Spook You and has immeasurable knowledge when it comes to your body. Yes, you. Yours, specifically. Every nook and cranny, every wrinkle and pore. Your very own biological mechanic. He has arms for when yours inevitably give out, various hearts and lungs to postpone that final breath. And right now, when you enter the coupon code SPOOKALICIOUS at checkout, you'll receive 10% off your first purchase of $2,500 or more. Just enter SPOOKALICIOUS at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of $2,500 or more. What a frighteningly good deal. <laughs> That's Big Frank's Body Shop, because who could ever know more about your delicate body than old Frank here? Nobody. Not even you. Up next, we got a story so scary, you may just want to go ahead and mute your speakers now. It's okay. We don't judge around here. Okay. Frank judges a little, but it's warranted and you know it. I really got into the paranormal a few years ago, but two years ago I actually played around with it. I was 15 at the time, so kind of dumb teen, but... I still try to experiment. I used a handmade Ouija board, which looked very ugly, but that was all I could do. There were only two weird incidents that happened. One time during a Ouija board session, the camera captured an unidentified voice. I didn't hear it while doing the session. The other time was when a weird beeping noise could be heard on many videos. I took it with my phone in my room. My friend said that it was die, die in Morse code. After and before these small unexplained incidents, nothing ever happened. That is, until today. I was at home upstairs and my grandfather was downstairs. It was already dark, but the only light on was a small lamp in my bedroom. I went to the toilet to which I have to walk along a short hallway and up a tiny staircase. Right next to the bathroom is the study room. At this time, only the bathroom lights and the small lamp in my bedroom was on upstairs. As I'm sitting on the toilet, I heard footsteps on the hallway, then on the stairs. I thought it was my grandfather looking for me to ask me if I want to have dinner. I finished, opened the door, and saw that the light in the study room was on. I immediately went downstairs and asked my grandfather if he'd come up. Nope. My parents didn't arrive home either. It was just me and my grandfather. 
I don't know if anything actually paranormal happened or what not, but I'm baffled. Nothing like this has happened before. The only unexplained event was two years ago. Actually, I had a few more unexplained things happen, but those are not that big of a deal. I guess I can set a camera up facing the study room for the night and see if I capture anything. I might do an update if anything happens. Oh, <laughs> you're still here. I was certain you had died or fled in absolute terror at the first syllable after my brilliant intro. My apologies. I wasn't really expecting anyone to actually make it this far. <laughs> Nevertheless, if you enjoyed what you've heard this evening, then make sure you leave a like on this video and strike that subscribe button. Go on, bury it. Give it all you've got. It is how we keep the lights on in this place and feed the feral werecats that have made their home in the former manager's chest cavity. And now, it is with a heavy heart that I regret to inform you that it is time for us to depart. But don't despair. I can already hear your incessant weeping. I'll be here every Tuesday and Thursday to bring you more bone-chilling and soul-shivering stories to whet that insatiable appetite of yours. Now go forth, my ghastly gang, and stay spooky.